school i am your science teacher we are learning chapter 14 natural resources this is the last lecture of our uh, chapter we are going to learn two topics uh, the oxygen cycle and the ozone layer now oxygen cycle oxygen the very important gas for us right uh, it gives us life we can say but we are talking here is how does an oxygen gas will balance in our atmosphere how this goes to the earth and come back that is the process we are going to see now if you know uh, in our earth we on our atmosphere we have 21 percentage of oxygen also oxygen can be also found extensively in the combined form on our earth crust right also in the combination of carbon dioxide we call it as co2 now this in the crust right you cannot find oxygen in a free state it will be in the combined form in terms of oxides of metals of silicon carbonate sulfate nitrate all this so oxides oxides means right those oxygen when combined with sulfate and it becomes oxides of sulfate so oxygen first of all it is there in our atmosphere it can be it is there in forms of combined with carbon dioxide uh, on the crust crust earth crust right it is available in the form of oxides of metals like silicon carbonate sulfate nitrate but the question here is it is available right where does an oxygen is utilized the way carbon dioxide is utilized in our biological processes oxygen is also there in all of our biological processes means it is there in carbohydrates proteins nucleic acids now the question is how does this oxygen cycle maintains so we know that the plant inhale oxygen Uh, the plant inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen and we people inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide so see if you see in this one the atmospheric oxygen goes to respiration respiration means we human being take it then if you see the inner cycle okay then respiration okay we give carbon dioxide photosynthesis happen it goes back to the atmosphere now you know what is this c6h12o6 that is a glucose molecule which breaks down during respiration and co2 is released so this is what the process happen during oxygen so what is this c6h12o6 that is a glucose molecule which break during a biological process we utilize it in the form of energy okay so basically oxygen from the atmosphere is maintained in three forms right okay combustion respiration and you know uh, oxygen is also necessary in the form of combustion right you know uh, the people uh, who used to fire something they also provide air when they provide air what does actually it help it it provide oxygen oxygen is used as a combustion gas now oxygen is written to the atmosphere majorly by the photosynthesis right the plants as what i said they inhale ox uh, carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen and that is how the oxygen is maintained that's why we keep on telling grow more trees grow more trees right now you must be thinking that oxygen is so good so good but there are certain sort of bacteria that for them oxygen is a poison you must be surprised now yes oxygen is a poison for them have a look there are certain bacteria are poisoned by an, an elemental oxygen right the process of nitrogen fixing bacteria we i told you earlier there are bacteria which fix the ni atmospheric nitrogen right those bacteria cannot stay on the surface of the earth because of this thing they get die in the presence of oxygen okay so presence of nitrogen process of nitrogen fixing bacteria does not takes place in the presence of 
oxygen. So it's a very simple process of an oxygen cycle. Now the very important thing we are going to learn is an ozone layer. Now guys, ozone layer if you talk, what is ozone layer? You, we heard this word many, many, many a times. So ozone is what? It has an ozone molecules on it. Right? Ozone molecules. So what is that ozone molecule? If we talk about this, ozone molecule means what? It is O3, O3. This is ozone molecule. Okay. So it is made up of how many atoms? Three atoms of oxygen combined together and will become an ozone molecule. So that is the formula of ozone. Now what happen is, Right? And this is called ozone. Now what does an ozone do? What ozone do is it stops the harmful radiation, ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun towards the earth. It stops that radiation coming from the sun towards the earth. If those radiation will not be stopped by an ozone layer, if it will touch us or the living organisms it will we are badly affected by it and on a surprise note i tell you ozone is poisonous so we are lucky that ozone is not on the surface it's not near to the surface it's very far upwards so we are safe and ozone is helping us in that way <coughs> now then how does it getting depleted depleted means how does that ozone is getting now when CFC, CFC chlorofluorocarbon, chlorofluorocarbon, right, chlorofluorocarbon, when this CFC molecule get, it break this into two, O2 plus O. So this or CFC molecule break our ozone molecule into O2 plus O right so <clears throat> this CFC molecule right as what I say is very uh, this can break our ozone molecules and I already told you if, if ozone layer is getting depleted it will be very dangerous for us so once they reach the ozone layer, they will react with the ozone molecule and resultant in the reduction of the ozone layer, right? So if you see this figure brown in 1980, can you see the purple uh, portion that was an ozone depletion layer? See in 1985, it is so big, then the people get serious about it, right? So in 1990, it is slightly changed. But still there is a big question for us, we have to protect this ozone layer, otherwise our life will be in danger in future. So I hope you got what I said about an ozone, how does it help us? It is poisonous, it will protect us from harmful radiations, that was ultraviolet radiations and what is depleting ozone? CFC molecules, that is chlorofluorocarbon. Okay, so with this we have completed our chapter. I hope you get what I'm saying. If you have any queries, please post me. I'll help you for all your queries. I'm going to send you the question answers for the same. Okay, till then, bye, take care. Thank you so much.